have you found that you will move back into a place that's more restrictive through different experiences? And what is like, what's your sort of, when you, when you find yourself moving back into that place, what, what do you end up doing? Do you still pull out the phone book under the bed and rip it? <laughs> Don't have the do phone book. Do I need book. to do that too now? <laughs> I do suggest it. Yeah. It's great to have a physical object too. Yeah. And I've also had a bat, so a plastic Ooh. bat, but, but hitting something with your arms going up over your head and, and letting out a scream every time you hit mm. um, is really powerful as it's well. It's almost like a pranayama breath. Oh yeah. Exercise. Yep. <laughs> yep. There's connection there. I believe it. <laughs> um, but something I also will just, will do is just, um, kind of the exercise that we did where you are just making sound and movement mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. express how you're feeling yeah. on the inside. And I think that is one of the best ways that I can just go there, go right into how I'm feeling and let it come out through my body and voice and really taking out the story mm -hmm. so that it's not me talking about it. Oh, I feel stuck right now. Oh, I feel like, why is this happening? Oh, I'm so annoyed. All those stories. Instead, just going straight into the stuckness and just making a physical. <laughs> yeah. Just making that sound, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Yeah. And then it, it, then it has a life and it mm -hmm. has an expression mm -hmm. so it can move. That energy can move. But when we don't give it an expression, we don't give it space to be yeah. felt moved, then it just stays stuck. Yeah.